All right, guys, let's check out the G Gundam. We're also going to put his combo tutorial in here as well. So let's talk about him a little bit. He's actually really good. He actually did not get the all-rounder strength. Funny enough. That he didn't get that. He actually can loop a nice infighter string, believe it or not. And I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't believe it. See, look at this. Yeah, that's pretty much infighter string. So that means this character is really freaking good. So let's do our normal thing. Let's see if he let's see if he has the loop. Let's pop him up. Not that. Not that. Definitely not that move. That's his heavy. I don't think his heavy is going to help us loop, but let's see. Let's do his heavy for shits and giggles. No. Bad. Pop him up again. Let's spin. Nope. All right, next. Missiles are too slow. Let's try sub weapon one. No, so well and sub weapon two does not work since it takes too much time. Let's try again. Let's hit him with the heavy. Nope, too slow. We're gonna hit him with the heavy again, but we're gonna hit him with the sub weapon two this time. Nope, too slow. All right, so. She just has the normal infighter combo string, and just like Double O Riser from yesterday, um, it's just that normal shindig. Oh, she can hit four times. Okay, that makes more sense. So when you hit that normal four, three, four, one, two, three, pop up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then hit him with that nice special. There we go. Um, anything else I need to show you? Just know he has an Empire combo string, which makes him just like Age FX. Just doesn't have the loops like Age FX from the looks of it. But we're going to try one more time. Nope. Nada. Not even the laser beam can do it. We tried even, we even tried the laser. Nope. He doesn't move fast. He does not have a boost cancel on that after that move. Actually, let me try one more time. One, two, three. He can't even go into his heavy. Okay. So she's just a plain basic infighter like your average Ryu character. Like Kai, like everyone who has those three strings. He's really nice because of that, which means you just capitalize as much damage as you can. So one, two, three, and then hit him with a heavy. And then kind of get that attack in and then go from there. So that's the one thing just to keep in mind when you're playing G. Very different character from your all-rounder. He actually plays like an infighter. So be happy about that. Hey, at least he actually got a real combo string. Hathaway was given a proper treatment. So that's good. I want him to have a proper treatment. He deserves proper treatment. So he's getting proper treatment. Bam. All right. So we got some HP on this one, which is good. So yeah, we got a little HP. So we're going to have a pretty decent time on this stage for sure. We won't have our infighter bullcrap, but we'll have a decent time. I hate you. These guys are worse than fucking justice. I could not get that counter, and I don't know why. At least my at least my beam's actually doing something now. So once you get that break in, go for that combo. So I did a couple of those fours, and then we're going to pop up on the third hit. That way we can continue the string, and then let G have his fun. Let the move. Pop up. Two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, then one, two, three, and just blow them up. Just blow them up. Trust me, you're you're not gonna regret it. Let's get our health kick back plus some SBA meter up. See, now it's actually fun to look forward to your special since these new multi items are out. And that's another good thing about G breaks nicely. Two, four, one, two, three, pop up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, heavy. And then finish that off with a nice smash to the face. Boom, dead. Solid stuff, guys. Solid stuff. I can't make this any nicer if I could. But these 400 melee range definitely helped out these fighters. But at the end of the day, you know which fighters who definitely need them. And you know which fighters just need the melee. That's my lesson to you about these parts. But these parts are still good nonetheless. Because it's helping both, finally. So you never have to worry about one stat ever again. You guys are playing very range heavy for some reason. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fast chance. One, two, three. Pop up. One, two, three. And hit him with that special for game. Good enough. I'd rather it hit for 10,000 than no, no 10,000. So thank God for putting up the range on that. But if, even if you increase his melee, you still get a lot more damage in anyways. We're going for that four. One, two, three. Pop up. Remember when I said pop up? I freaking lied because these CPUs like to have a lot of fun at my expense. Counter. Nice counter damage. Let's go. Because armor breaks on, so now we're countering at our maximum potential, which is great. Beautiful stuff, by the way, guys. Beautiful stuff. Let's keep it going. I'm so glad he can break easy for his combo loop. That makes me extra happy. So G came out amazing, guys. S tier. Graham S tier. G S tier. Everything came out amazing. And that's game. Slice, slice, slice. And the thing about G's SPA, if you're in the front, um, you te you technically can pull off the same damage. I like I'm still using the same crappy assist for a stage like this when I really should be using the characters with the heavier HP. But for today's sake, we're still going to pretend like we're gods in this game. And we're going to reset. God, so good. Heavy. Apparently, I'm walking on his head. Dead. Next. Mobile armor time, guys. Three, two, one. Let's see how we do. So, the moral of the story is, if you play with friends, you don't have to really use too much of an HP item. But if you play by yourself... And maybe look into one just in case. You got a lot, to, you have a lot to grind on this stage. And thank God they actually improved the game on single player mode where you don't feel like it's going to be a freaking hassle. That was the next best thing to keep in mind. He is not giving me time to reload. I had to really be in that corner. And the best thing about the range going up finally, those range parts just really work in your favor. Um, that's why I definitely recommend getting those for these types of characters, especially for G Gundam. Don't get me wrong, you definitely still need it for G. Period. Do not not go for these parts, because these parts are going to fucking help your gameplay a crap ton when it comes to combos and at least keep your damage count proper speed up i hate you why did you jump this isn't jump rope it's not called jump over the g special you prick oh perfect 1700 oh beautiful 
And that's only at 14. That's only at 1,400, guys. That's beautiful. I like it. Uh, keep an eye when you hear that scream. That's the sound of victory, boys. That is the sweet sound of victory. But do not take this into a real-life situation. If you hear a scream, call the cops. Help the person. Be safe. Something's going to actually be going on. Just in Gundam, it's a different type of scream. It's called You're Gonna Die. Wow. Nice combo. Want to teach that to me sometimes? Maybe you can take me on a quest to learn it. Come on, give me an alpha. Give me an alpha. Thank God for freaking G having awesome break. Oh, we're going to melt you now. We're going to melt you so hard. Let's go. Pop up. I got to kill him now in one string. If I don't, then I, I lose. And heavy. I screw that up. Well, let's kill him with the special so we don't have to deal with him. He already gave us a problem in the first video. I am not dealing with him again. I will deal with G, personally. And he broke. Get ready for combo time. Let's go. This is like a perfect stage. You get a mobile armor. You get a couple mobile suits. Oh, I, I didn't know I went over my limit. I lost track. Whoops. Counting's important. Know your numbers. I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. I like how she's very defensive. Hathaway is a very defensive unit. He doesn't attack unless provoked. I'll keep tapping you until you, like, actually try to hit me. I'm adding two taps. Okay, I'll add a third tap. Again, that range now finally up. Now you're in, like, this is where you want to be at. This is perfect. A couple more of those parts with actual beat melee range up, and guys, you are set. Crap, I think he gave me more sharpshooter parts on beam range and melee. Hopefully it has a good passive. Or maybe he didn't give me anything. He said, go yourself. One or the other, guys. One or the other. Let's see. I pray he gave me something good. It's like this whole first part's just all mostly garbage unless you see melee on one of those pieces. But that's about it. You do see melee, you're good. Alpha chip. Minus! Get the fudge out of my face. I got a 500 and a 459. Perfect. Doesn't have the stat I actually do want. 444, 441, 431. Perfect. This was kind of decent, I guess. I mean, keep your character high. But I wish this was a higher melee, but still good enough. 455, 9, 500 in fighter stuff but like i said most in fighters rather have more melee than they want in their range but give them like one of these pieces i guess it's okay you know at least they have some at least their range is finally in the thousands less to worry about right because you got that extra 500 range it's good enough so yeah and we got ex device 2 which just gives physical melee range attack up b melee range attack up solid stuff So we were going to keep this, we are going to keep this. I think we're selling this and this. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to keep these parts because they're decent, and this one's... Eh, it's pretty decent. Um, I wish Balancer wasn't a thing, but it is. But at least it affects both physical melee beam and up and stuff, so you can actually give it to one character if you want, but whatever, one character's all beam, so you don't really have to give it to them, so... And play around with it. Have fun with it, guys. That's the best way to tell you. But we did get two of these parts, which is great. Uh, but maybe give one of these to my one infighter, and then we'll call it a day for that one. Because our my infighters already smack at fucking heavy damage anyways. And they don't even need range. FYI. So that's good enough. This, pretty good for the Rangers. Alright, guys. That's all we have today. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Y'all stay safe. I think we did lose volume in the video. Don't worry about it. My voice didn't disappear, and let me be honest, my voice is the only thing that matters when it comes to these videos. P.S. Yes. All right, we'll see you guys around.